if temperatures continue to rise, is it going to be safe to continue to have these games in the middle of summer? A question that scientists, doctors, and athletes are asking as climate change makes the Summer Olympics hotter. The Tokyo Games became known as the hottest in history. But Europe is the fastest warming continent in the world. The Olympics are being held at a time where historically we've seen really deadly heat waves. Paris now experiencing 119 additional hot, humid days and 80 more warm and muggy nights compared to 100 years ago when the city last hosted the Summer Olympics. Athletes are very driven people. They're very intense. That winner go home attitude increasing the risk of ignoring the warning signs of heat illness. And sometimes the one thing that, that some of these elite athletes could be prone to is, is not recognizing when it's time to make sure you take a break. Dr. Eric Giza would know. He's the chief of orthopedic foot and ankle surgery at UC Davis. And I'm also the team doctor for the Sacramento Republic FC. Giza says that on days with extreme heat, longer breaks are key to athlete safety in any sport. We make a decision as to whether or not there's going to be a three minute break, two three minute breaks during the during the game. Olympic officials will have to make similar decisions. They'll be looking at things like temperature, humidity, wind, and the angle of the sun ahead of every outdoor competition. Sports like soccer, tennis, or even triathlon could be played with extended breaks, postponed, or canceled altogether. The same flexibility may be needed for future Summer Olympics host cities both of the actual event, but then also when they have specific events during the day. That mindset, crucial for safety of athletes of all ages. Not only at the elite level, but all the way down to, you know, is, is that local soccer team of, you know, U10 is going to play on a hot day or do we postpone it? I'm meteorologist Heather Waldman for KCRA 3 News.